synagogue and ritual bath, center of the Jewish community of Speya in the Middle Ages. The exhibit in the Museum Spira illustrates the most important objects of this Jewish community. This is how the synagogue looked. At the end of the 11th century, Bishop Rudiger and Emperor Heinrich IV gave the Jews of Speya privileges for finance and foreign trade. Therefore, the buildings in the center of the Jewish community were built by Christians. The synagogue and mikveh were constructed by Christians, who probably also built the Speyer Cathedral. Therefore, here you can find forms which correspond to those of the cathedral. The women's prayer room. In the first half of the 13th century, added to the synagogue as an independent building modeled after Worms. There are two examples, Worms and Speyer, in which great monumental women's prayer areas were built in which women could celebrate their own liturgy. Through six holes in the wall, there was access from the synagogue so that one could acoustically follow the service. Best preserved, the Jewish ritual bath, the mikvah, the oldest bath of this kind north of the Alps. From the beginning of the 16th century, the mikvah started to be used for something other than its original purpose, namely a gunpowder magazine. In der Zeit hat man in dem Tauchschacht at that time, the holes for the beams and suspended ceilings were cut out in the chamber and the powder was stored there. The mikveh was dry during this time. But not all of the building elements of the mikveh are original, such as the stone window frames and the capitals. In the ritual bath, you saw the copy. Here is the original. The ornate stones were replaced with copies between 1996 and 2001 for reasons of preservation. Mikvah, synagogue and cemetery. The Museum Spira is dedication to the three most important pillars of the Jewish community of Speya. The cemetery no longer exists. The gravestones were stolen and frequently used as building material. This stone, the oldest that we have, from the year 1112, was hewn down the middle of the inscription. And here a space was left open in order to position the stone at the pillar of a winding staircase. The treasure of Lingenfeld, one of the most valuable finds, Supposedly, it was buried during the plague pogrom of 1349. At that time, many Jews fled and buried their belongings in the hope of someday returning. A Jew from Speyer buried his possessions in Lingenfeld. Silver vessels and coins, predominantly Speyer Heller, from the time before 1349. Around the year 1500, the history of the medieval Jews in Speya ended. The circumstances of their end are unknown. <laughs> <laughs>